What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and I bet you can't guess which color iPhone I got. I'm just playing. Let's do this! Okay, so now that it's unboxed, let's go ahead and talk about it for a second. In my left hand is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and the right hand is the new one. Check out the cameras first off. That's the first thing that I notice is the camera module is pretty darn big. And you can see how much the cameras come out on the new device compared to last year's. Both devices still look good, but the cameras is just like, it's huge. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I'm just kind of curious where the eSIM setup comes into play. Right now I'm taking my old information data to go ahead and be able to transfer it over to the new device. So I'm just gonna kind of run through this uh, in the background. We're here at the face ID. I'll go ahead and set that up for you so you can see. Uh, very easy to do on iPhones. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm charging both devices while transferring my information. I'm using the Zira Meg Full 3-in-1 wireless charger if you're curious. Now for what I've been kind of curious about is the actual eSIM transfer procedure. I use Mint Mobile, so on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I'll hit the Mint Mobile app. Once I'm inside of the Mint Mobile app, I'm going to go down to the bottom right and I'm going to select account. Once I'm in account, I'm going to simply press on change device. Now, before you get a new eSIM, make sure you are on the new device, which I am. Then I'm gonna simply hit get an eSIM. Now remember, this is a physical SIM card to an eSIM from an iPhone to iPhone. Okay, so back to how it's gonna look when you do the eSIM transfer on the first day when you get your brand new iPhone. I had to log into my Mint mobile account because it's a new phone. Then I'm gonna say change device and then go to the very bottom and say that I want to order an eSIM. So I'm gonna say this is my new device. And once I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and order the eSIM. But note, for Mint Mobile, you only get two eSIMs for free every 12 months. After the two free eSIMs, you will be charged $3 per eSIM after that. This message right here is just saying that your service will be interrupted on the physical SIM and to make sure that you're on Wi-Fi. So far, the process with Mint Mobile and switching over to eSIM has been pretty easy. The replacement was successful, so now all I need to do is install the eSIM on the device. So go ahead and hit continue, tap on install eSIM. Once you do that, you're gonna still need to activate the eSIM on the device. So go ahead and select continue and this will activate the eSIM. And just like that, we're done. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and call myself with my other line to see if I'm good and ready to go. And as you see, I'm already getting phone calls. Next up, what I want to do is send myself text messages. So I'll send a text message and just like that, you see, I am receiving my text messages. So I'm up and running within two to three minutes. I'm good to go. This video wasn't a review, but more so an unboxing, a quick setup, and more importantly, the process of the eSIM transfer using Mint Mobile. Some things that stand out about the iPhone 14 Pro Max is I do happen to love this color. The addition of the always on display is pretty cool, but I'll have to keep an eye on it to see what it does to the battery because the iPhone 13 Pro Max battery was king. And of course the dynamic island adds a cool way to have functionality into what once was the notch. What I'm doing here is showing you what it looks like to watch content. On the top is the S22 Ultra, which has a, a hole punch cutout for their camera. And then of course on the bottom, you have the iPhone 14 Pro Max that has that dynamic island. What is it like? Is it distracting? Is this gonna distract you while you're viewing content compared to a hole punch? For me, I actually like the hole punch. It's not so much in the way, but I guess eventually some people will get used to that. So what do you guys think? So something that I probably want to do in the future is see how easy it is to revert back to a physical SIM card from this eSIM. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.